Hi, I'm Howard Payne. I'm an instructor with Dive Wimbledon. We're a five-star IDC centre here in southwest London, uh, and I teach both uh, recreational and technical diving, and have been diving for about eight years. And today I'm going to give you a little bit of advice on equipment and how to scuba dive. Okay, let's have a look at how to use a BCD. We've got Jacques, who's one of the other instructors here at Dive Wimbledon, to give us a hand with this. Um, we can see we've got the, the BCD and the tank and the regulators assembled there. Okay, I'm going to just help him put that on now. So most BCDs have got a kind of handle on them to help you lift them up. Okay, and you can just rest it on your knee there while you're giving your uh, buddy a hand putting the BCD on. Okay, first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to tighten up the shoulder straps so that the whole set sits nice and high on your back. Okay, you can see we've got a large BCD here which fits Jack really well. Um, then we're going to start from the, the bottom to the top. We've got a Velcro, cut, like, uh, they call it a cummerbund, like a Velcro cummerbund in the middle here. It's basically just a big Velcro strap that holds the whole thing across your, your chest and across your waist. We've got a little chest strap there, which again just holds the whole thing in place. Okay, so there you go. You can see that fits him great. If you just turn around, Jack, tank's on his back there. Okay, the main reg that he breathes comes over his shoulder there and that will go into his mouth and we have the spare coming under here which we normally have a, 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 on a clip or tucked up somewhere high on his body so that in an emergency I can reach it very easily. Okay, just around this side we have his pressure gauge which normally we're going to bring around and we like to tuck these under the waistband so you don't lose them and you can find it really easily and more importantly if you're diving on some nice coral reef somewhere like the Red Sea or Thailand or perhaps out in the Caribbean the last thing that you want is to have all of the equipment banging along and damaging the reef so we try and keep everything tucked really tight and close to the body. Um, you can see we've already got connected up here the uh, inflator for the BCD and uh, just uh, let Jack show you how that works you can see he presses the button and the whole jacket is inflating. Okay, so if he was on the surface, that would keep him uh, head upright and uh, nice and safe and afloat while he was waiting perhaps for the boat to come over and pick him up. When he's uh, underwater, he can put air in and let air out. Normally as we go down, we'll be putting air in to compensate for the, uh, the loss of buoyancy in our wetsuit and the air being compressed in our jacket. So we put air in as we go down, and as we come back up again, he's gonna let air out with that button so that he slows his ascent and he comes nice and safely to the surface. So that's uh, an overview really of uh, BCDs and how they work.